Good morning ladies and gents. Odd here just with a quick solar and earthquake update. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this real quick. We did have a recent flare pop off that does have a CME. It is earth facing. It was an M32 flare. I'm going to go ahead and show you this. This is a stereo ahead of core 2. Um, as you can see, the sun and its anvils, a lot of energy right now. I mean, look at all this energy coming off the sun. There is the flare with the CME there. On Helio Viewer as well, I'll show you guys this. This is Sunspot 1748. Sunspot that popped off this 4X class flares. That was the first M flare that popped off the C flare. Or the C flare, then the M flare. Then another C there. And then right here, boom. There's the M32 flare. Does have a CME as well on the um, uh, Enlil Spiral, as you can see here. Boom. Now that was from the first M class flare yesterday, but for some reason I don't believe its trajectory because it came from the Sunspot 1748, which yesterday it should have popped off in this direction. So we should be getting or seeing some signs of that here in the next few days. I don't know what's going on with these satellites, but a lot of them are screwing up lately. Spitzer is actually down. NASA cannot control it anymore. And as you've also heard, Kepler may be falling back to Earth. Kepler telescope, because it is also having trouble right now. One of its uh, wheels thrusters is busted. Um, not sure if it's relate it to these incidents as of right now but I guess we'll find that out eventually because Earth is this yellow dot. Now if you remember all the X-class flares popped off in this direction so why would it be going backwards? You see what I'm saying? So we'll have to keep our eyes out on that. Also here shows that we're going to be getting impacted actually we should be getting impacted already by the CME that has come in from uh, the last X-class flare. We are getting grazed by that CME, and its arrival time is today through early <clears throat> May is when it will be affecting Earth the most. Also, on the Bar Bartol neutron monitors, cosmic ray density is below average. It's dropped down to about 98 on this chart and about 9200 on this one. Pitch angle still showing some more disturbances, as you can tell here, even on this chart. You can see certain variations come down to here as well on the muon monitors also showing slight disturbances macmurdo real-time data is down in between 9200 and 9100 about 9150 counts an hour huge drop off which is also fairly unusual so we'll have to keep our eyes out on that supposedly you know that's showing that we have high levels of radiation that are penetrating in earth this is the m3.2 solar flare plus cme if you guys want to read on it this is on solarham.net shows you the recent flare from sunspot 1748 this is earth directed so we'll have to keep an eye out on that it should the cme should hit earth within the next few days also here you go this is on the um certain co current solar data it shows the c flare it's about a c34 and then uh boom there's the uh m1 another c3 and then boom there's this m31 now it looks like it might be going back up, maybe another flare pop off, you know, hopefully not X-Class because it would be Earth directed, especially if it comes from Sunspot 1748 or any other of the Sun, or actually if we're getting X-Class flare, it's going to come from the Delta spot on the Sun, which is 1748. KP index, as you see, we had a lot of unsettling movements, also still back up right now around 2, I guess it might jump back up. Radiation particle penetration is high right now because we are currently in a radiation storm so the geomagnetic field is unstable the m-class flare alert because of the m-flares that are heading this way and um, the radiation storm mixed in with the CME may not be a good thing and as you can see here electron flux monitors are acting stupid I mean look at this now we're starting to have a huge deviation in the electron flux so it is going up all charts are showing rises so we'll have to keep our eyes out on that also harp showing plasma penetration here slight plasma penetration here but look at this this is recent boom alright it's up to 5.0 absorption okay so on the detector signal it's on 25 so that is 
That's that's kind of high, so we'll have to keep our eyes out on that and see exactly what's going on with the CME and radiation storm. So we're currently about to go through, or are, are already going through, a geomagnetical storm from the CME from the X-Class flare. And we're also going through a radiation storm at the same exact time. Now, as you can see here on the, um, the uh, induction magnometer, what are they hiding? some reason they took something off the charts here as well remember the other two charts were down too the bar toll monitors and the neutron monitors were down and the solar data was down for about a few hours but then it went back up but the bar toll monitors were down for over a day and a half and then Spitzer satellite was taken out Kepler satellite is acting stupid and of course you know for the ones that don't know what Kepler is Kepler is the um, high imaging or imaging uh, bar object satellite which has been taking pictures of planets solar systems galaxies from far far away you know so it's one that found the super earth <clears throat> and a few other things also um, planet Einstein <laughs> so we'll have to keep our eyes out on that as well a lot of weird stuff going on um, people have been complaining about cell phone disturbances um, even landline phone disturbances radio blackouts and um, uh, internet issues. Yeah, I know we've been having a lot of data gaps lately with this huge cyber war that's been going on, but also the solar radiation is not helping at all. But as you can see here as well, you can see where the particles started to penetrate. And boom, I mean, it's just got to keep our eyes out on this because, you know, the levels are high. Um, also here, you can see solar wind speed is above average. So we have to keep our eyes out on that. You know, look at this too, you know. PHI is up. Huge, huge hit right here. And now we're getting another hit right now, so I guess the CME is here. So keep our eyes out on that, you know, on electronics, all that, just in case. Also, as you can see here, this is the um, uh, the uh, radiation levels for our magnetics on the North Pole that is coming in for the um, Aurora Borealis. And this is just going to get a little bit wider, probably about down through here into Canada with this X-Flare CME coming in and also this radiation storm. So we'll keep our eyes out on that. This is the latest Lasco C2 image. As you can see, it looks like the sun is about to pop off another flare. I mean, look at these anvil, anvils. I mean, look at them. But right here is about where Sunspot 1748 is. Okay, so we have to keep our eyes out on that and watch for a huge pop. Also, spaceweather.com. Um, Comet Lemon had a, de a disconnection event because of the it got hit with a CME. Um, if you guys want to read into this article, you know, very interesting. The last time that we've uh, captured something like that was with Comet Inkle in 2007. And right now, our X-Class flares are at 50% possibility of popping off. And class M flares are at 75% possibility. And that's for the next 48 hours, so for the next two days. Okay. And mid latitudes, right now it's active at 30%, and it will be 15% in the next 48 hours. Down here as well, for severe for high latitudes, 40% chance and 25% chance for the next 48 hours. So we'll have to keep our eyes out on that. And as you can see, severe is higher than minor and active. Because right now, active is 15%, which is going on right now for the next 48 hours. But for severe, 40% probability and 25% probability. It's even higher than minor. Okay, so we'll keep our eyes out on that for the next 48 hours on earthquakes. There was a 4.4 earthquake in Canada. Um, somebody was saying... Uh, Subscriber sent me a message saying that they had a, it was originally a 5.0, but now it's showing as a 4.4, and then they also just had another 3.6. And this is in Shawville, Canada. So we'll have to keep our eyes out on this for you, Canada, because the one, the first one was at a 19 kilometer depth at the 4.4. The 3.6 is at an 18 kilometer depth. Okay, and now this is strange because they don't really get much earthquakes like that up there. Also, Sealy Lake around Old Faithful and, um, you know, Yellowstone Volcano showing a 2.8 earthquake. Fiji also had a 4.7. Papua New Guinea, a 5.4. 3.1 in Puerto Rico. 
Solomon Islands last night had a 5.7. We also had a very rare earthquake, which I'll show you here in a minute. A few of them. This is the new maps that I'm using, and I've heard that this is actually accurate. It picks up some things that USGS doesn't. And there was a 5.2 at a 15 kilometer depth possibility in the Pacific Basin, North Pacific Ocean, not that far north of Hawaii. And then here as well, a 5.0 at a 15 kilometer depth, also North Pacific Ocean, a little bit more north of Hawaii. So I have to keep our eyes out on this, folks. Also over here, I'll show you an RSOE. Down over here, very rare quake down around the Caribbean. This is in Colombia on the outskirts, a 5.0 at a 26.10 kilometer depth. Okay, so we'll have to keep our eyes out on that because that is not that far away from Jamaica, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and all that good stuff. And that's a 5.0 at a very shallow depth. So we'll keep our eyes out on that for you guys. You know, a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, also having huge earthquake swarms over here, volcanic activity. Also, supposedly, there is nuclear in Colorado. I'm sorry. There's a nuclear device that was found. And Hazmat is currently investigating that. That's in um, Grand Valley. They don't know where it came from yet, so they're still currently investigating it. Also down in North Carolina, still investigating that fracture in the uh, Sharon Harris nuclear plant in North Carolina. So there you go, folks. Just wanted to go ahead and give you guys that quick update. I will give you guys your news later. Much love, and may God bless.